Women, this trick. Guys, <laughs> my bro. I miss magic so much. So I decided to plan a trip to Austin, Texas, to catch some comedy shows and do some magic. But first, back at the night vibe. It's been. It's been a few years I haven't done a magic trick here the night vibe. This place has changed quite a bit too, huh? I'm with Campos here. Look at him. He's standing here like a like a victim. Campos, I'm gonna show you something. Can I can I see this glass here? Is this okay? Yeah, sure. Alright. Actually I need you to hold it. You want me to hold it? Like this. Okay. On the top here. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Straight. I want you to focus on the glass here, Campos, okay? Look at me. <laughs> He's gotta go get the bro. Whoa. Sorry, Sean. Whoa, I got scared for real, man. Wow. Damn, that was wolf. Oh. Oh my god. That almost went. That almost went really south there. Watch where you're stepping. I got jump scared. Yeah. Real glass. That's real glass. What the hell? I knew you guys had a broom. That's real glass. What the? F How, bro? <laughs> oh, jump scare us, bro. For real, like it's done. It's broken. It's to the garbage, bro. Like, get it, bro. What? Yo, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> oh, how did you do that, bro? For real? You, how? you held the glass. Yeah, yeah. Watch this glass here. No. They didn't see it coming, bro. They didn't see it coming, bro. Thanks, bro. Hey. All right. Time to get this cut. Ugh. Do the uh, one-handed card trick for the one-legged man. He's got one leg. I'm gonna use one hand. Well, it'll be even. That's it. See? Show him. Show him. Show him the steel. Oh wait, is that new? No, it's just a little cover since oh. I have pants. We got a deck of cards here. They're all different. I want you to see that they're all different. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in a second, I'm gonna ask you basically to just uh, look through the cards like this. So like this, you take your finger and you go like this and you look at any one of the cards and you just keep that card in your mind, okay? Uh, so I just flick it and, and think yeah, you, of a card. You, you, look, you peel down, you look at one card, and that's it. Um, to do this trick, I'm gonna put my hand, nothing in my hand, it's gonna go in my pocket, okay? So, look down anywhere, just kinda like like peel it down, forward. Uh, this one? Yeah, like that this? way, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Anywhere you want. Stop whatever you want. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Take this. Think of your card, you got it? Yeah. I want you to look through the deck. Look through the deck, look for your card. <laughs> you sure you have it, right? You remember the card. Yeah, oh man. This guy, man, this, no, this is not possible, bro. You can't, no. It's not there? Wait, look, look, my hands are in my pocket the whole time. Dude, man, I know. What you was your card? Seven of spades. <laughs> this guy. 
guy, man. This guy, man. My bro. Yo, I saw the card that was there, man. This is not possible. There you go. <laughs> I love this shit, bro. <laughs> Starts a day good, man. <laughs> Damn. Chill, man. Tip up my suit. Right. Um, that barbershop happened yesterday. Uh, right now, I'm getting, I'm getting things ready. I'm on my way to Texas with Wes. Uh, so we'll see you in Texas. All right. Next stop, Austin, Texas. As some of you may know, I'm a huge fan of comedy, and Austin has become the mecca of all things stand-up in the last few years. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity for Wes and I to sort of hang around the comedy scene, meet some funny people, and maybe shoot a podcast or two. First, it's time to brush off that magic rust and possibly, hopefully, blow some minds. Hey, I know you. Hey, in Texas, baby, in Austin. I'm gonna show Ben something. He's never seen like close-up magic before. Tape the deck and, and find a card that you want. Okay. Any find any yeah. card. You got it? Yeah. All right. Do I take, grab it? Yeah, you can take it out. I'll take the other cards back. All right, Ben, I want you to sign the card. I'll turn around so I don't see it. You can sign it, you can show it to the camera, okay? Oh, okay. All right. Good? Good. All right. Take the card. You don't sit on it. Okay, we'll put it in the middle of the deck. Okay. Uh, hold your hand up for me like this, and put your other hand on top and cover it up. Cover it up so I can't get to it. All right. All right. At this point, I'm gonna try to reach in there and find your card. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. All right. Kind of wild. I think. Uh, I don't think that's not your card, right? That's not. That it's is, definitely not your card. That's not a card. Yeah. All right. Hold on. All right. Oh, I did get it. Surprise! Oh, right. shit. Don't move, don't move. I did mess up a little bit, so what if I made this card disappear right now? Would that be dope? Yeah. All right, let's go dope. one, two, three, gone. And we'll never see it again. It's gone forever. Okay. Obviously not. Let's take it a step further. What if I made the entire deck you're holding on to right now just completely vanish? <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. Good. That's it. What the? What the? What the? What the? Okay, so I'm about to do the same trick that I did earlier in the barbershop, but this time I decided to stop my pulse for dramatic effect. So if you stick around, I'll actually show you how I did that a little bit later in this vlog. Hold on to this mug with this hand, okay. right? And I want you to put your hand on my pulse here yeah. and feel my pulse. Can you feel it? Yeah. Okay, every time it beats, I want you to go boom. night was kind of a blur. We got to see our favorite comedy show, perform for a ton of really cool people. What the f <laughs> And play Catan with one of our favorite comedians, Hans Kim, at four in the morning. After being slightly hungover, we ended up shooting a podcast with Hans and the great David Lucas. One card, okay? Uh -huh. Peel down anywhere and just look at one card. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Uh, take this deck and I want you to look for your card. I can't find Which I'm very surprised by. Hans, what was the card? Ten of clubs. There's one card in my pocket. Oh! <laughs> it's like, how could you actually There's no way. do that? There's no way. Yeah, it has to be magic. It has to be. That's the only explanation. <laughs> uh, it's definitely not a seventy dollar trick you can buy at any magic shop. Uh, name a card. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. He loved our magic so much that he invited us to perform for his chiropractor. Uh, that was a first. This, 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 this. 
<laughs> bro, you cannot teach women this trick, bro. <laughs> J A N R A I. Yes. Stay straight. <laughs> I'm gonna go into five clubs. So <laughs> sad. Reflecting on this amazing trip, I realize how rare magic is and how comedians and magicians actually share the same passion. Hold on, but in here I got a handkerchief. What color is it, quickly? Red? <laughs> in, in this handkerchief. Making people happy. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like and subscribe. I almost forgot, I promised you guys I'd teach you something. And uh, Lee doesn't actually know what I'm about to teach. He's holding camera right now. Um, I'm back at home. Uh, Lee, can you take my pulse with your hand? And let me know when you when you feel my pulse. Do you feel it? I'm trying to figure yeah. it out. Yeah. Okay, you feel it? Now, now, now if you, you're, you're alive, Chris. You're alive. Okay, good, good. All right, so you feel the pulse? Yeah. All right, I need you, every time you feel it, I need you to go boom. Did you just die on me? <laughs> I can't do I don't feel it anymore. That's freaking me out. Like, put, put it back, put it back. Freaking me out. You don't feel it? Hold on. How about now? Oh shit, it wait, came back. Wait, 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 it's gonna go away again. What the f Pretty Dude, cool, that, right? That's insane. I'll show you how, how I'll show you guys how that works. Literally just a bunch of Scott towel under your armpit. You take a bunch of paper like this. You form it into a ball and you shove it under your armpit, all right? And now you'll feel a bit of a pressure. When you squeeze your arm towards your chest, you'll feel like a pressure in your arm. And that pressure will tell you that the pulse here will actually get, like your blood will stop circulating to your arm. And you can control your pulse. Pretty cool, right? That's insane. All right, guys. Like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.